So we're used to partitioning numbers into tens and units like this. With the number 34, we can partition it into three tens, or 30, and four units. But we don't have to partition into tens and units. We can partition in different ways. So we could partition into 20 and 14. We still have a total of three tens and four units, so we still have 34 altogether. Or we could have 10 and 24. Now let's look at another number, so 76. We're used to partitioning into tens and units, so we have 70 and 6. But how else could we partition the number 76? We could have 60 and 16, so we still have 7 tens and 6 units altogether. We could have 50 and 26, 40 and 36, so you can probably spot a pattern here, 30 and 46, and what do you think I'm going to do next? We could have 20 and 56, or 10 and 66. Now let's look at one more number. So with 82, we can partition 82 into 80 and 2. How else can we partition the number 82? We could have 70 and 12. 60 and 22, 50 and 32, 40 and 42, 30 and 52, 20 and 62, or 10 and 72.